we do on YouTube. This is Manny Jones. Hope you're having a great day wherever you may be. Back at you with more Carrie Earnhardt career mode. Last time, we rolled off 26th at Chicago Land, finished 31st. Not the finish we were looking for, but hey, you gotta try sometimes, you know? Uh, as you might notice one thing, we have a new scheme on the car. Didn't change the design too much. I thought I'd try a different look and design. We took the white out of the side of the car, put put some more black on the car. So the black and red, with the white insides on the uh, on the number there, as you can see, and the red outline number. If you guys got any like scheme designs, uh, I would love to hear like what you guys got for design ideas for the car itself. Uh, the main reason I picked this was because it was close to a DEI-ish scheme, and it was the closest I could get to an actual carry scheme. I think I was trying to go for his hot tamales, this, like, um, car design, but only so much I can do with this game, but I was, I want to try something different. If you guys got any ideas, let me know on what you want to see, uh, how you want to see the car look. I'd love to take ideas of what you guys think. But this new looking car will debut at the New England 300 at New Hampshire. Let's get you updated on the points. As it stands right now, Tony Stewart still leads the points. But Dale Jr. got his first win of the year against Chicagoland. So we shall see what Jr. can do. Try and catch if he's down 218 points to Stewart. That could be Stewart downhill behind him. Harvick, Dale Jarrett, uh, Mark Martin, Ryan Newman, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Johnson, Bobby Labonte. Sterling Marlin, Matt Kenseth, Ricky Rudd, Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, Michael Waltrip, Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson. Now, Johnny Benson's been low key having a solid season. 19th in points right now. Behind him is Ricky Craven. 20th is Jamie McMurray. Behind him is Jeff Green, Elliott Sadler, Ward Burton, Terry Labonte, Kenny Wallace, Jeremy Mayfield. And here we are, still in 27th. We are about. 104 points behind Jeremy Mayfield. So unless we have like a top 10 or something and Jeremy Mayfield has like a blown engine in the next race, it might be a bit before we can move up 26. Behind us is Jerry Nadu, Robbie Gordon, Steve Park, Joe Nemechek, Kyle Petty, Brett Bodine, Jack Spray, Ken Schrader, Greg Biffle, Hermie Sadler, Casey Mears, Christian Fittipaldi, Kevin LePage, Mike Skinner, Stanton Barrett, Chase Montgomery, Ashton Lewis, Kevin Drop and David Green. So that's your point standing as it stands right now. Uh, rookie of the year. It's still Evan McMurray. Nothing much to update there. McMurray uh, still in 20th place in the points. We could catch up to him, but we're going to need some extremely good luck the next couple races. Uh, pull raise, pull raid right now. It's Jeff Gord with the most pulls still. Stewart second. Us tied for third. Junior, Harvick, Johnson, and Labonte and Rusty Wallace all with one. The Manufacturer Championship still belongs to Chevrolet right now, followed by Ford, Dodge, and Pontiac. Your lap champion remains Smoke, but Dale Jr. is starting to catch up on who has led the most laps uh, this season. So that is, again, uh, how it shakes up right now in the points. Uh, let's see how we can do at New Hampshire. I can put down a solid lap at uh, New Hampshire one of those high breaking kind of turns so I can really put down something solid hopefully at least let's see what we can do at the New England 300 coming to the line the green flag wave the clock has started and this wall has right. begun let's look for something really good here at New Hampshire I know we can put something solid together the turns have a lot of breaking in them, so we could put together a nice, solid qualifying start. I'll bring a little bit early on this turn there. Perfect. Let's not lose control of the vehicle, please, Mr. Earnhardt. All right, good acceleration. Where are we going to come across the stripe back? 20th position. I love the sound of that. Let's try and do it again. I breaked a little bit too much there. That's not what I needed. Got a little bit bent out of shape there. That's not what I wanted. Let's make up for it here. Let's make up for it here. There we go. Good job. Good turn. Come on. Where are we going to put a cover across? Come on, tell us, Gabe. We'll start the top half of the field. Yo. Not too bad. 19. Only one position higher, but I love that. I love that. You like that. You like that.
Joe Moore and Barney Hall welcoming you to Loudon, home of the New Hampshire International Speedway, for today's New England 300. Barney, the fans are packed in and ready for the action. What do you think about this track? Well, gear selection is everything here at New Hampshire. Very important to be able to accelerate out of these tight corners. The danger is picking too low of a gear and hitting the top end too early on the straights and blowing an engine. How about the consistency shown by Jeff Burton? You know, I watched him in practice, and that car just looks good. Sometimes you can just tell by watching the car on the track who's going to be fast on race day without even looking at the speed charts. Dale Jarrett is in the top five in points so far this season. Being in the top five is a huge boost in self-confidence. I know everyone on that team is very happy with their performance this season, and rightfully so. Position number one, we are 19. Let's see if we can stay up in the top 20. Get ourselves another good finish here at New Hampshire. Green flag in the air, 30 laps in Loudon. You know we can do something great. Oh, sorry, Mikey. Accelerate. Oh, look at that acceleration right off the turn, man. That acceleration. Right off the turn. Number 29, Just love to see it, man. Let's try and get low. Oh, we're going to make a lot of moves. Three wide. We're trying to draft up there. Get up with everybody else. 16th now. This is between you and the leaders. Two and a half seconds. I'm loving that. Okay, I'm loving, loving how we're performing right tires. now. Number 19. Oh, what's up, boys? Yes. That drafting help that will be wonderful for us. Fuck. Got it loose. Sorry, Johnny Benson. I didn't mean to. We're up and out of position. Again, we're going to lose a spot there with Kevin Harvick. Uh, Michael Walsh is going to come on the inside. Let's go. Good. Okay. Loose, loose, loose. The 19 car wants to get by you. Too loose, baby. Now we're back at 19. So. Yeah, we already qualified. What the Number fuck, 19, dude? Jeremy Mayfield, what in the hell were you doing? What in the hell were you doing? What the fuck was that? I mean, I know maybe I was running him down the bottom of the racetrack. I didn't know where to go, but good lord. And he tell x Jamie McMurray, too. Oh, my good lord. He came back up, but he collected the 42 car, so both... Hit the wall. Oh Lord! All right, so we're gonna roll off 20th as we get back under green on lap seven. The one car is looking left. I came in. A, that's the problem. I'm coming in a little bit too hot into these this turn right here. Right, Carol Jello, Kyle Calpetti, Sadi Kyle. The break just a little bit earlier going into this turn, man. But, like, that was a little bit too hot, as you saw there. And we went right into the wall. Getting a bit too over-aggressive, I think, sometimes with these turns. I just get a little bit like, oh, I could definitely get a better lap. But, uh, you know, i got to remember to just run the best lap I can and not hit the wall, you know. We don't want to have a DNF this season, and that's a good thing. That's for a reason. For a good reason, I'm trying to keep this car off the wall out of trouble. Don't want to accelerate too much there. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Solid lap, solid lap. What's up, guys? All right, a little bit too much again. Number five. Fuck. Coming up quick. Get bent out of shape and high up the race. Hello, Steve. Hello, Terry Labonte. The five car is still there. We're off the pace. Everything okay? Three one. Hold that line. Got much there we go. A little break a little bit too much. Just got a bad top on that turn. I need to break a little bit early. Not, not hit the wall this time, though. Okay, we're clear. Keep him behind you if you can. 
That is much better. Good turn. There we go. 24th still is within our sponsorship goals, so I'm not that I'm not that upset right now, you know. What the fuck are you? Did Kurt Bush hit the wall? Oh my god, what is it with people just right the, the CPU just randomly just correcting itself into the wall when it goes below the turn there? Now it wasn't even me. I wasn't even forced that he, he went down there with me. And he just went crazily up into the wall. Focus on your marks, buddy. Clear. No, this this CPU being crazy on this track, man. The 19 is looking to pass. Just trying, just trying desperately to not hit the wall. I don't want to go too hard. The has about a nine lead on us. Uh, we get bent out of shape again. It's always one thing on this turn. We just get bent out of shape and we get fucked. Great acceleration, though. I like that off the turn. Great acceleration. Draft here. Green flag pit stops are beginning underway. Good. Good corner. That is what we need. That's good. Good job, Kerry. Good job. 16th position balance. Team 15th, and I think we're going to get by, and we will. Cleared him, too. That's good stuff, Mr. Earnhardt. We can start having more runs like this, dude. We will have, we will start creeping up on that on Jamie McMurray in the points position. We're about 10 right, seconds off the leader. Hit your marks and be smooth. Car inside. That's a good. Be careful. There's some cars entering the track ahead. Be careful. Clear all around. Good. Corner, guys. Good corner. Might be time for I won't hit this time, time, but I'll hit the next time around. On lap 16. Actually, I left. That would be lap 15. We hit on. What am I saying? I haven't done well at math. What can I say? What can I say? I haven't done that well at math for a good while. So. There's some leaders coming in. That's why I had to ask Siri to help me on the points. We're we were behind Kenny Wallace in the last video. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Right, I'm gonna be here right. All clear, buddy. I think someone at the wall again. I, at least I think it did. Okay. Didn't get much damage. That's good. But we are pretty well. Uh, well. Uh, got a good solid car. Need a good pit stop here, just like last time. We'll maybe get something good. Alright, good job on the rights, boys. Good job on the rights. Go to the left side. Let's get some more cannon there, guys. Get some more fuel on there. Good. All right, come on, get, them, get those lefts on, get those lefts on. Good. All right, nice clean stop. Hey, the pit crew's been great lately. We're gonna roll out back of the field right now, but hey, we got fresh tires. We should be fine. We should be fine. Look at that acceleration. That's a good acceleration, I must say. Oh. Whoa, I think the level was trying to pit there. And I was trying to get under him. Oh, good lord, what was that, man? Oh, my god. Okay, we're clear. All right, good. Let's get past Amy McMurray here. 37th right now, but he's trying to get past him. A lot. Hit him. It's okay. You're fine, Jamie. You're fine. All right, good. Got off this turn, not bad, man. Only a lap down now. And we're gonna move up to at least 31st. Not a bad spot to be, but of course I'd love to be, you know, much further up. Good. Catching up to Jack Sprague now. I believe right now is the highest rookie in the field. Just got past the 42, so right now we're just trying to get past Jack Sprague. He is the only car a lap down. If the caution were to come out, he would be the left down. 
But I don't think that's going to happen. The leader is approaching us, too, so we might get put an extra lap down if we ain't careful. Hello, Jack. Right, right into you. You're fine. Look at that. We cleared him. We cleared him. Boom. All right, 27th spot. I love that. Not getting to our sponsorship finishing goal, but it's something close to it. And we qualified pretty darn good, too. So we can keep the car clean. We should have, you know, a solid race, you know? Get some extra money. We should be Gucci. Keep him behind you if you can. That's a good turn. Good turn. Go. Okay, we're not, anyways, we're not a lap down. We're, we're only three seconds behind, uh, the 10 of Johnny Benson, who's next. So if we could make Drive something up pretty quickly line, in that time frame, lines. I think we might be able to catch him. That's a big disadvantage, though, to work down from. So if we could get, like, three, gain three seconds on him, that'd be huge. That's a good lap. Two seconds behind the 19 of a... Uh, Jeremy Mayfield is great. Tire. I like the Best sound of that. Good, come on. Some of the leaders are coming in together. Someone's pitting, it looks like. Not sure if that guy who pitted stayed. Who's the leader? Who is the leader? Brett Bodine's the leader? What? What's he doing leading the race? You can't luck into a to, to a to a to a scoring controversy like you did at North Wilkesboro, guys, dude. Oh my god. If you don't know what we're talking about, look this up. Brett Bodine got his only win in the Cup Series off a scoring error at North Wilkesboro. He pitted for tires. He would have he, he, then the leaders, Waltrip and Earnhardt, they pitted. And what ended up happening was the pace car picked up Dale Earnhardt as the leader when Brett should have been the leader of the race the whole time. However, during the ensuing 18 laps of caution that went on, um, Brett pitted for tires again. He decided to just pit again. Like, oh, I'm just going to pit for tires and gas again. And because of that... Even though he pitted and would have been tail end of the longest line, he would have been back of the pack, he was given the lead by NASCAR, held the lead, and won the race. It's quite a unique controversy. Which back then, those kind of controversies happened all the time. You know, we don't have what they have now, with electric scoring all around the racetrack. On who's the leader at what point? They was all done by the teams, and it was very easy to have scoring miscues like that. All right, good corner, good corner. Twenty fourth, we gained a little bit of spot there while we were talking about that. So that's not bad at all. We might gain some more if we can get by Bill Elliott here. I think that's Bill. He's got a little bit wide next turn. That's not good. Hello, Kenny Wallace. We're on some very worn tires. I want to keep this position the best we can, man. I'm going to fight to keep this 24th spot, man. I'm going to fight for this spot, man. Good acceleration. That's the one thing that's kept us in our spot is that we can accelerate so good off the turn. We're not that good getting into these turns, but we can accelerate so good off the turn. That's what makes us so good at this track, that we can accelerate so good off these turns. There's the 19 at Mayfield. Right? That was the 9. It's actually the 19. Easy to say. They all have the same fucking sponsor. The 23 car. Down low. Get by me. Oh. No. no. I am not letting you get by me. Hell no, Terry. Get the fuck away from me. I am going to finish this race in the top 25. You are not going to change that, sir. Oh, shit. These, tire these worn tires, man. Good corner. Good corner. I'm trying to stay ahead of Robbie Gordon. Might get past uh, Jeremy Mayfield, but the, the white flag is in the air as the leader's taking the white flag. I think the leader's junior. We shall see. Oh, they're very wide. What's going on with you, Mayfield? Oh, is, is, is Mayfield pitting? 
he's not. Looks weird. What's he doing down there? That's still one. Contact get to go for I'm sorry, man. I, I, I gotta get this position, man. Okay. Right. Last lap for us. Checkered flag in the air. I lead whoever's won the race has won the race. We'll find time. out who the winner is in just a moment. Got a little loose. Woo. I thought we accelerate so damn good, man. I kind of like New Hampshire, man. Let's see if we can do something good the next time we're here. All right, coming out of turn number four, Kerry Earnhardt will finish the race in 24th, so not bad at all. We will fulfill the both of our main sponsor requirements. The win of the race is Jeff Gordon, so he gets the win. Junior second, Jared third, Johnson fourth, and Labonte in fifth. See, that makes me happy. If we can just start, start pulling off stuff like that, man, whew, that makes me happy, man. Let's look at the rest of the race, though. Junior finished second, as we mentioned. Led the most laps, but he won't get the win. He won't get a second straight win of the year, but he will get the, he will tie Jeff Gordon for getting the most points. Gordon gets a much needed win. And of course, Junior finished ahead of Tony Stewart. Uh, he'll gain about 30 points in that race. Still, Stewart has the lead. But if Junior can start just winning away at that lead, we'll see if Junior can get points lead. After Labonte in fifth, it was Stewart in sixth, Harvick in seventh, eighth was Rusty Wallace, ninth was Ryan Newman, and tenth was Ricky Rudd. I think we were the best finishing rookie, and we were as, let's see, Dan Murray finished 29th, the zero of Jack Sprague finished 31st. So they finished back at the pack. I'm happy with that, man. I'm happy with that. Got all the only, uh, DNF was Matt Kenseth. He retired on lap number 24. The other guys were about were a lap down. So hey, I'll tell I'll tell you what, man. I am happy with us being able to do pretty well in this race, man. You know, 24th ain't bad. It get the sponsors happy, and that's what we are looking for. All right, let's look at the uh, garage right now to show you what's going on again. We have about six races until. We get the engine shop in. Uh, we're getting this prepared right here, but our engine overall is done, and look at that. That's good. Um, do I want to overhaul this one? Mm, you know, just, re just, just repair it for now. Just repair it, save a little bit of extra money. We overhaul this one, though. Ooh, that would be a nice boost. $101,000, though. Eh. Just for now, it, it'll need to get repaired immediately. We're fine. We are fine. I will need to get some new team members, though. I mean, we're all looking pretty good, but I do need to get some new guys. Maybe try and get a fast and faster stuff. Our crew, our stuff over here is not bad. I don't mind the builders. We gotta get some guys on the at the crew, the crew itself. We gotta get some faster talent. Coleman's a 57 overall. He's very happy. Let's get so let me get the new let me get a new Jack man off. Let me get Car off of here. Trickles got the 96 potential, and that's good. I'll sign him. Uh, let's see. Urban is 57 overall. We could do better than that, I think. Hmm. Urban's got 85 potential though. You know what? I'll, I'll bring Urban back on. The potential's a big thing for me. They keep, Urban could get better as time goes on. So we'll keep him on. As the catch can, man. Uh, let's look at Coleman. 55 potential, 73. All right, I'm going to sign Brown. He's got the better potential, so I'm going to sign Brown. All right, so this crew, a couple new members. So the best member of this crew, of course, is Rivero and Trickle. What about uh, the rear tire changer? Let's do Austin. You know, Nax isn't bad, but the potential's there for Mr. Austin. We should have a faster crew next time around. You see this car on the track, so not bad at all. Uh, a little bit more in expenses, but hey, we're starting to get our sponsorship requirement. And we have eight races left of Craftsman. So we shall see uh, what happens next with eight races. We could keep Craftsman on the truck. We, the truck, what am I saying? I'm thinking of the truck series. We could keep Craftsman on the car uh, for a good bit longer. We'll see, though. Right? We'll see. But that'll do it for us. Uh, let me know in the comments what kind of car design you want to see. I'm trying to see what kind of different car design we could go with with our sponsor. Next time it's... No. Pocono! Oh, no! I don't want to do Pocono, man. 
I, I, I'm scared. I am scared of Pocono, guys. Uh, let's hope we do okay there. Anyway, like this video, hit that like button, hit that sub button too. Uh, really help with the channel. Big thanks again to everyone that's enjoyed this series thus far. Make sure you check out the rest of the series. I will put a link in the description to the entire playlist of the Carrie Earnhardt series. Uh, find me on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Manny Jones FM. And uh, till next time, I'm out of here.